Whoa. Whoa. Since I last spoke to everybody. What the fuck is going on with the world? <laughs> um, in all seriousness, there is a fucking virus going around. I don't know if you've heard of it. Maybe. And she's been living in a fucking bomb shelter for the last few months. Um, so, coronavirus. What are we thinking about that? How is that affecting everybody with their anxiety and their issues? I mean, I personally am quite surprised. I'm not panicking. Like, I'm not panicking. I'm not really anxious. I'm not worried either. And that's strange for me. Um, the only thing I'm a bit annoyed about is my holiday is going to get cancelled, probably. <laughs> um, deep, deep down, though, I hate flying, so I don't know if I'm actually secretly happy. <laughs> How sad is that? Um, but, yeah, I think... I think. Um, I mean, I don't know what's going on with the world. I think everyone's panicking. Everyone's doing this fucking panic buying. And... It's crazy. I mean, how many fucking toilet rolls and bags of pasta do you need? Like, I don't know how it is anywhere else in the world, but we have a fucking London's got a shortage of pasta and toilet roll. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, everyone's scared to get on public transport. Nobody wants to get on the fucking buses. Um, everyone's worried about, like, just being around more than two people in case they get a cough. Um, I mean, I've got 50,000 of these in my fucking <laughs> house. I've got one in my car, these hand gels. Um, shit, I mean, I don't even know what to say on the subject. Like, fucking hell. I mean, I've got workmen in my flat at the moment. Doing the, My whole flat is being rewired. Um, so I'm trying to avoid being at home. So I'm not around the workmen. Um, I've got a few bits of work to do this week, but obviously everyone's work is slowing down. I'm self-employed, so it's hard. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying to avoid staying at home. I think I'm the only one who's in the actual whole country who actually wants to go out and get away from their house. Um, but I mean, you know, in all seriousness, let's be real. Let, let's be careful with, you know, what we're doing and how we're treating each other you know everybody just needs to take care of each other you know just like check on your elderly neighbor check on your elderly re relatives like go out and do their shop for them if you can fucking get anything because obviously the shelves are empty as hell i mean why everyone suddenly i mean i know you obviously if there was something like this happening and we all everyone's buying like non-perishable stuff like tins and cans of fucking pasta and motherfucking toilet roll but <clears throat> Come on, let's calm the fuck down because it is true. It is going. It is. If you do get this virus, if you get it, it's it's gonna be okay. You're, most of us will get over it and we will get better and we will be all right. Oh, to be honest, I'm not really upset about having to stay two weeks inside. I quite like a break from the fucking life. I quite like a break from social. I'd quite like a break from fucking people in general. I'm not much of a people person. <laughs> it's too peoply out there, you know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, everyone just calm the fuck down. Like, if you know, I've said to anyone, if anyone needs anything, I'm here. Like, I'm okay at the moment, so I'm okay to go out and get people shopping and drop things to people's doors. It's fucking unbelievable that you've got to, like, drop things to people's doors. It's crazy, isn't it? Where did this fucking originate? Like, I'm, I'm just so confused. Like, where did this originate from? Has anyone seen that movie, Contag Contagious? Contagion? Kate Winslet, Gwyneth Paltrow, Matt Damon. Did they, did they know something we don't? Like, <laughs> they've literally predicted what's happening right now. Um, but I know this originated in China and everything, but, like, where the fuck did it come from? Why did someone suddenly just get this disease, this fucking virus, and spread it around? I, I just don't understand. Obviously, things are spread very easily, but out there, man, just wash your damn hands. Wash your fucking hands properly. Wash your, like, door handles. Wash your fucking toilet flushes. Spray your Dettol spray fucking everywhere, because that's meant to kill everything. Just keep clean. Keep your hygiene clean. Keep your health, your your house clean. 
I suppose at the minute, don't go out unless it's really necessary. I'm quite good sitting indoors, chilling, watching Netflix for the next two weeks. Do you know what I mean? Although I'm not self-isolating yet because there's nothing wrong with me. But obviously, you could have it and not even know. They've said that apparently if you feel like you've got a really bad sore throat, you should gargle salt water for a while and a couple of times a day because that could be the start of coronavirus and, and that could kill it and it make it not, like, progress. Um, my God, there's so much fucking information going around at the minute, isn't there? There's so much information at the moment going around. I'm fucking confused as fuck. Um, you know, Boris Johnson's hilarious. I'm not telling people to close their businesses. I'm not telling people to close their bars and their restaurants and their clubs, but I'm telling people not to go there. <laughs> That's the man we've got running our country, people. Fucking hell. Shit, America, you think you've got problems with Trump? Fuck me. <laughs> Fucking hell. But, um, in all seriousness, guys, like, for us anxious people who are anxious on a daily basis anyway, other than, you know, if we had a fucking death-killing fucking virus. Just calm yourselves down. Like, do whatever you do to relax. Do whatever you do. Like, keep, you, keep your mind busy. Keep yourself busy. I've been quite not busy the last couple of days because I haven't had a lot of work on. And I've got the builders in. Um, so it's... It's, um... Difficult. But, um... Just keep busy. I think I've read, like, three books in the last week. I've got back in I've got back into reading. I love reading and I've got back into it and it's just keep yourself busy. Like obviously there's Netflix out there, you know, you can watch whatever the fuck you want. Um so many movies, so many books, so many series on at the moment. There's some good series on the actual normal channels at the moment, like the Freeview channels. I just I've just finished binging on iPlayer a series called Noughts and Crosses is really good. Really good series actually. I recommend that one. I love this song. Can you hear it? Magic. Don't let the sun go down on me. Yes, don't let the sun go down on me. Don't let the sun go down on the fucking world. Everyone calm down. Um, so yeah, everyone just calm yourselves down. Do the regular things you've got to do. If you don't have to go out at the minute, then don't, I guess. You can still stay indoors and do exercising and doing whatever. And I know work's going to be hard for a lot of people. I'm self-employed. I private rent, you know. I'm fucked, basically. Um... But, you know, I'm still keeping my spirits up. I'm still hopeful that, give it a month, we might, shit might have died down. I'm still hopeful for that. A lot of people are like, this is going to go on forever. It's going to go on for a long, long time. People don't realise. I'm still quite hopeful that, give it a month, maybe things might have chilled out. I'm, I'm still hoping that, that when the summer comes, because at the minute you can see it shit out, shit weather out. Um, hopefully when the summer comes, it will, um, I don't know, I'm logically thinking heat kills germs. <laughs> like... So maybe the sun will help with the germ killing and but then people's hygiene is going to go fucking downhill because let's be honest, when is it nice to be on a London bus in the fucking summer? B.O. Blech. Luckily I drive. I don't fucking have to get on buses. Please, please, God, don't let anything happen to my car. Um, but yeah. Uh, ch chill the fuck out. Like, take care of each other, man. Fucking... If you see three bags of pasta left on the fucking shelf, don't take them all. Shit, there's other people out there that need the same shit. Fucking hell. Stop being so greedy. I haven't done a full shop for fucking ages. Like, the other day I couldn't even buy beans. Fuck me, you better shortage on beans. What are people doing indoors? Are you just living on pasta and toilet roll and beans? Like, what, what the fuck are you living on? Crazy. Eggs as well. Fucking eggs which go out of date after like a week so that's not fucking clever is it don't let the sun go sun go down on me don't let the sun go down on me fuck me do not let the fucking sun go down on the world everyone just calm down breathe do some fucking meditation do some yoga at home clean your house deep clean your house deep clean your fucking self Use your hand gels. Wash your hands when you can. Um, try not to cough on anyone. Try not to sneeze on anyone. Obviously, everyone coughs and sneezes. Carry fucking tissues. It's not hard. Carry a fucking bag of tissues. It's big in your bag, in your pocket. Carry it. Clean your phones. Clean your screens. Clean your fucking mind. Do uh, Pick up a new activity, man. Pick up a new hobby. Read. Fucking knit. I don't know. I'm thinking, oh, my, my flat must be the cleanest place in the world. I mean, I've been cleaning every fucking day. 
but let's just be careful yeah just be careful look after each other please just stop all this fucking panic buying if i go to a shop and there's going to be decent stuff in there i'm just going to buy what i fucking need i might pick up an extra hand gel or an extra pack of toilet roll i'm not going to buy 10 packs of toilet roll 10 packs of beans 20 packs of fucking toilet roll. it's ridiculous like just calm the fuck down for real like it's everyone's saying it all over the internet like saying calm down don't panic buy like no one's obviously listening like do you want you know if you're buying all the fucking hand gels out there do you not realize other people need to use the hand gels to be clean as well mm. calm the fuck down keep calm and carry on the english way isn't it? the old brits way sending love and sending fucking hope to you bastards